What's up, Eagles Nation? Oh my goodness, we, we're on what, what's called a winning streak. <laughs> First time all season. <laughs> um, yeah, it just goes to show what type of year it's been. <laughs> Uh, first time this season, the Eagles have won multiple games in a row. Uh, they beat the Washington Redskins and butt fumble yesterday, made an appearance. He's just going on his NFC East tour, I guess, right? He was with the Eagles some years ago. He's with Dallas with Washington. I guess he'll be on the Giants next season, I guess. For, he'll, he'll find his way on the Giants at some point so he can complete the tour. <laughs> but, um, 28 to 13 was the final and and listen, uh, was it perfect? No. But like I said a week ago, look, there's a win column, there's a loss column. And at the end of the season, if you have more wins than losses, you have a good chance of making the playoffs, either as a uh, division champ or as a, as a wild card. Most cases, you know, you do. Um, we, we got some help yesterday, if anything else, in the wild card hunt because, um, you know, uh, Minnesota loses, Carolina loses, um, and and that's good, but those two teams, listen, I mean, they, they still have tiebreakers because they beat us head to head, um, you know, and 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 that's that's there. So we're we're still going to need some more help if we can't get the division, uh, which I still think is doable. I mean, listen, it 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 we are playing against a team in Dallas that's very confident right now. Uh, obviously, they've won four straight games. Their local you know, front-running fans have been very vocal about that, you know. <laughs> Yet they're very quiet when they, when they lose. Oh, nothing would be better this season, aside from a Super Bowl, than to, to go into that stadium and beat them. Oh, quiet them up for a week. I think the Eagles would be doing the world a favor if they could just quiet their fans up for a week. <laughs> that would be a great early holiday gift. That That would, oh... Oh my! I, and I hope I, I hope uh, 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 some of the players look at the camera if they do it and say "Merry Christmas, Philly." <laughs> I um, I mean, look, not for nothing, not for nothing. But when you take a look at the the series between these two teams in recent years, it's really been the road team that's won most of the games. Uh, Dallas has won has won quite often in, in Lincoln Financial Field as they did this season. The Eagles have won quite often in the Jerry World. And and and, and since that stadium opened, the Eagles have a winning record. Um and and even in losing seasons they've they've won games there. So uh you know it it, it would not shock me if the Eagles go into this game and win. It, it really wouldn't. Um as, as much as we can say it was a huge disappointment those weeks ago, when I mean, and then look, they got their asses handed to them against the Saints. They did, and 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 rightfully so. They played like crap, and and they and they lost big because of it. But I will get you know, you give credit where it's due. And I know that these were winnable games, and they were at home, and 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 everything, and the circumstances. Look, I, you understand it, but the fact is, they still had to win these games, and they did that. And 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 for the first half of that Giants game, it wasn't looking very good. And then Malcolm Jenkins with the big interception. That turned the tide. I said it a week ago. I said, look, the, the, the people can blame the Giants coaching and, and, and this and that. The Eagles still had to make plays, and they did. And to their credit, they were able to come back and win that game. A big game that they had to win, they won it. And, and last night, no different. I mean, look, what, what, did it go perfect? No. Were there mistakes made? Absolutely. They left some points on the board. Uh, big interception by Carson. You know, uh, uh, in the red zone, I mean, the red zone offense is still still needs some work. Uh, last year it was number one in, in, in touchdown scored in the red zone. This year, not so much. Uh, but there was a lot of positives to be taken from that game last night. Um, the fact is, they were still playing playing a decent defense, and they moved the ball down the field on them left and right. The fact is that they were able to find Golden Tate. That they were <laughs> that they were able to 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 to, to finally. Figure out how to use Golden Tate. <laughs> uh, the fact is, you saw Carson make some plays with his feet. You know, keep plays alive. Uh, the first touchdown pass to Golden Tate, his first touchdown as an Eagle. Congrats to Golden Tate for that. Uh, Carson kept that play alive. There was pressure coming. He, he got away. He made that one. I, I forget his name. The Redskins defender number 52. He made him look silly. <laughs> you know, he's, he went one way. Carson went the other. The guy was still trying to figure out where he was. And then he threw a touchdown to uh, to Golden Tate, who then did the worm dance 
After I don't care what you know what it, 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 these players can do whatever the heck type of dance they want if they beat Dallas. Okay, <laughs> they can do the freaking Macarena if they want. As much as I, you know what that would be fitting if they did because that was the last time Dallas won a Super Bowl was when that song was in. All right. <laughs> Nice little little uh, you know kick to the groin there if they did the Macarena on Dallas if they beat them, um, that would be interesting. I would give them high marks for that. You know that because that would have that double meaning. You know. <laughs> um, no, I I we we saw some good in that game. I I, I am glad uh, that Darren Sproles returned. Uh, to this offense because you know what it gives them an, another weapon and it gives them not only another weapon on offense but on special teams you saw him make a nice uh, return on special teams as well and look there you know I, I don't want to see them hand the ball off to him uh, um, between the tackles on third and four okay let's not do that Doug let's let's remember how to use Darren <laughs> okay <laughs> again the it wasn't perfect yesterday, but they made enough plays to win the game. And at the end of the day, the bottom line is it's another W in that win column. And that's all that matters. They're 6-6. Six and six. So basically they're at 500. But the way the division is right now, the Redskins are, are falling apart, right? I mean, Giants are have never really were in it. I mean, they thought maybe they were a few weeks ago, but, yeah, that that's it. Um, he got Dallas. And and listen, as much as I hate to say this, because I hate to give Dallas any kind of credit, but you give them credit. They they put they put it together. Um, their defense, uh, they did a great job in building that defense through the draft mainly. Uh, they hit on draft picks, which is what the Eagles need to do um, with more regularity. Um, and and then look, those guys are playing. I mean, they're well coached. They they're they're playing hard, and and they, that defense is one of the big reasons why they are where they are right now. Um, the addition of Amari Cooper was big for them. Um, they've, you know, they they've ran the ball well in recent weeks. So this is what sets up their offense, because as we know, if you make Dak one dimensional, he has problems. That run leads leads to their passing game, and this is not an offense that throws the ball deep down the field. They're deep de- and dunk. But what do those receivers do? What do Amar- what, what do Amari and Cole Beasley do? They they catch and run. So that means that your secondary has got to tackle, has got to wrap up. Because if you miss them, they're going to go for a big gainer, as we've seen in recent weeks with that offense. And it starts with trying to control Zeke. It starts with trying to control that running game. And I know AP got us last night for a 90-yard touchdown. Longest touchdown in the (laughs) history of the, what was it, the history of the Redskins or whatever it was, Adrian Peterson's 90-yard touchdown. Yeah, but, but... that happened because players um, weren't disciplined in their lanes on defense, and, and it opened up. And AP, the, the old man, he just he took off, and he beat him for a 90-yard touchdown. But again, that did not beat them. I mean, it was a big play for Washington at the time, but the Eagles did not. To their credit, they didn't allow that one play to just beat them. You know, they continued to play hard, and, and, they, and they ended up winning the game, walked away with it. Yeah, they were going up against butt fumble. But <laughs> bottom line is they made plays when they had to make plays to put that team away, and that's what they did is they put that team away. Um, listen, this, this is going to be a tight game in Dallas. Um, it, it It's going to be one of those – you know, heavyweight battles between these two teams. Um, you know, I, I kind of like the situation that the Eagles are going into because as it was those weeks ago when Dallas came here, the Eagles were, team, were the team coming on extra rest. Dallas had played that Monday night game. Now they lost that Monday night game at home to Tennessee, but they had they were more in rhythm than the Eagles were. You know, look, their season was on the line in that game quite like it is for the Eagles this week going into Dallas. And Dallas won that game. And the Eagles are kind of in the same, same type of situation. Listen, Dallas is on a winning streak. They won four straight. Uh, they, they had a huge win uh, uh, last Thursday night against New Orleans, which I guess they're going to hang a banner up now in the Jerry world because that was basically their regular season Super Bowl. 
So, you know, that team hasn't won a Super Bowl since grunge music. Okay, so, so that's – but but that was – look, it was a big win for them. Again, you give them credit. They, they beat a very good team, a team that crushed us weeks ago in, in New Orleans. I mean, you say that as the caveat. It, it was in New Orleans. Um, but Dallas earned that win. They did what they said they wanted to do. They punched them in the mouth. Okay, they got physical with New Orleans. They out physical New Orleans. Um, but what else happened in that game defensively for the Saints is what the Eagles got to do. Got to get pressure on Dak. And I know the Saints lost that game, but they got pressure on it. It led to turnovers. It led to, 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 to drives that stalled. Uh, look, it wasn't a perfect game played by Dallas by any stretch of the imagination offensively. I mean, you win a game 13 to 10. It's not like you dominated offensively in that game. You did enough to win. You won by three. Your defense had a heck of a game. Your offense did enough, but that Saints defense got some pressure on Dak. And 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 the, and the theme of this week for the Eagles has got to be pressure Prescott. Because if you do that, you he 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 will be a giver. Okay, he will give you opportunities your defense to take the ball with interceptions, with fumbles. They it's it's not like he just plays these clean games all the time, okay? Uh we've seen that with him. You know, he gets flustered, he tries to do a little too much, he tries forces and passes in there. Okay, he's not a good deep ball passer, so he will try to force some things and he will make mistakes. And uh, I, I, I recall, I, I will go back to that game here those weeks ago, early in the game, when, when the Eagles had an opportunity to get a huge uh, interception and a big turnover at that time, early in the game, deep in the you know, uh, um, Dallas' uh, uh, zone, Gruzay Hill let the ball go through his hands. And, and you know, Dallas kept possession, and, and, and we saw what happened the rest of that game. Their confidence kept building where the Eagles' confidence kept going down. Again, you miss an opportunity like that, a huge point. It was early in the game, I get that, but it was one of those situations where you're playing a team that's downtrodden. And you take that ball right there and you get a touchdown in that situation, it could have been a different game. And, and yeah, it was early in the, in, in, in the game, but it, it could have been a different game because now that self-doubt keeps creeping in there with them. And, and well, we, we saw what happened. Okay, so you have an opportunity uh, uh, to make a big defensive play. You got to make it. You got to catch that ball. You got to take the ball from them. You know, punch them in the mouth on offense too. Look, Dallas said it. This is what they wanted to do against the Saints. They did it. The Eagles have to have that mentality. You know, Dallas's defense, all oh, this big defense. They're they're making plays, right? Punch them in the mouth. You have a good offensive line. You you have you you you've shown in recent weeks the ability to run the ball effectively, and and I said this all along. Josh Adams, he's a heck of you know, not for nothing. The guy runs hard and he runs with a purpose, and he's the type of back that can knock some people over. Okay, that's what I want to see, and you know what? That pass that that running game leads to the pass, and 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 yeah, we get Darren Sproles back. So you have a three headed monster at, at running back there. It might not be like Dallas has with Zeke. But you got a three-headed attack, and all three are running pretty good. They're all bringing something else to the table, and they all run pretty good. I, I like the way Josh Adams runs. He finishes runs. He knocks people over. And I, I know I've said this before. He, he ran over Luke Keekley, we, uh, you know, against Carolina. Ran him over. And that's what you got to do. Hey, I wouldn't mind seeing him run over Van, uh, Van Der Esch, okay? <laughs> See Van Der Esch go down with that neck roll. Okay, with that, that that neck pad behind him. Looks like Dracula, you know? <laughs> but, hey, against a team that wants to be like a bully, you got to punch him in the mouth. you got to show them that we're here to play. Yeah, you're at home. Yeah, you've won four in a row. Yeah, you beat the Saints. But we're here to play you this week. You're not playing the Saints this week. You're playing us. So if you're still playing in that week that you're playing the Saints, this is where you have an opportunity. Because Dallas, look, I mean, not for nothing, you know, it's, they've had some extra days where people have been patting them on the back, the national media, you know, awarding them these, these like these 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 big time awards for beating the Saints, right, and doing all what they did to win that game, and they've won four in a row, and oh yeah, they're back and everything. I mean, they've been they've been had bouquets blown at them for for since last Thursday night. Opportunity, 
opportunity. And they're playing at home. They're not the more desperate team. The Eagles should be the more desperate team because they're the road team coming in. You know, they're still a team that not a lot of people are picking to win this game. Not a lot of people are picking them to win the division. Just like last season when not a lot of people picked them to win the Super Bowl when they played the Patriots. Not a lot of people picked them to, to get to the Super Bowl after Carson went down. And they got that underdog Moncrief, right? Moniker with, with, the, with the dog masks and everything. I'm not saying bring that back. But I'm saying when, hey, people picked against this team before. And we, see, we saw what happened. And now they're doing it again. They're going into this game in Dallas. Not a lot of people are giving them a chance. National pundits are probably all going to have Dallas across the board. Dallas is the hot team. Dallas is this. Dallas is that. All right. And I still will remind people that the Eagles have a winning record in that stadium, including years ago. Yes, it was the Chip Kelly years. But years ago, when the division was on the line, it was the last game of the regular season. I get a little different than, than this situation. The Eagles went there and won. So it's not like the Eagles can't win there. You know, they're not going to a stadium where they don't know how to win. It's, it's been the, quite opposite. They know how to win in that stadium. So that's what they got to do. They got to find a way. Look, every game is, is huge. Every game is a monster game. This is just the most recent one. Now, this one has a little more meaning because it's Dallas week, and it is two teams fighting it for a division title. All right, so this game, yeah, it has that extra edge to it where next week against the Rams might not have that or a couple weeks from now against the, uh, the Texans it might not have that. Uh, but every game's huge. Every game's a monster, you know, the rest of the way because, yeah, it's like a playoffs. I mean, you lose and, yeah, I mean, you're, you're really hurting yourself. Again, that's why these last two wins were big. And I don't care if oh, it was the Giants and it was the Redskins. It doesn't matter to me. I've seen teams like that. I've seen the Eagles lose to teams like that, okay, over the years. So nothing's given. You know, no matter what the situation is, it's not given that we were going to win those games, particularly how poor they looked against the, the Saints. I know it was the Saints in New Orleans, but, you know, that, the Eagles just never showed up. And they had all these injuries and everything. And, and look, I'm not, not going to use it as an excuse. I've said this before. Every team has injuries right now. The Eagles last season won a Super Bowl with injuries. The, 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 um, the backup quarterback was the game MVP. Okay? Excuse me. But the bottom line, I don't care how you win. You know, if this game comes down to a to a Jake Elliott, you know, field goal at the end and he kicks it through and the Eagles win a close game, you know, the Eagles win 13 to 10 or whatever, I'm not going to care. It's a win. It's a huge win. Now, I would like to see them, <laughs> you know, come out and, and make those plays on offense maybe they haven't been able to make routinely, uh, uh, you know, um, particularly in the red zone. But, you know, the fact is, look, they are going up against a good defense. They're playing them in their building. Yeah, it's going to be tough. But, you know, the Eagles are a defending Super Bowl champion. I mean, you talk about pressure. You know, oh, there's all this pressure on them this in, in these next games. I mean – might I remind people that the Eagles, with all those injuries, went to the Super Bowl last year and beat the greatest dynasty in the history of the NFL in the Patriots and, 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 and Brady in the hoodie in a Super Bowl. Now, if that's not pressure, I don't know what is. <laughs> if that's not a pressure situation, I don't know what is. Listen, I mean, the Eagles, they have got to play fundamentally sound in this game. They have got to come out, and, and they've got to win at the point of attack. The offensive line has to, has to protect Carson. Uh, Carson's going to have to make plays with his feet, like we saw last night. Because, look, Dallas has that, has that pass rush, and it's going to get there. And it's up to Carson to, to get away from it. Get rid of the ball. Don't hold the ball too long. You know, don't. Don't give that defense that opportunity. Get rid of the ball. Even if it's an incomplete pass, get rid of it. Don't have negative plays. Penalties, you got to keep that in check. And on defense, again, Pressure Prescott. I know this defense isn't the greatest blitzing defense in the world, and they've had some injuries, and that's been part of the reason, but you still have the ability to do it. And I know Jim Schwartz is like anti-blitz and, and, and whatnot, but look at these games where Prescott has, pre has, has, has struggled in his career. It's when the pressure's getting to him. Even last week, and it was a win against the Saints, 
But that offense only scored 13 points for a reason. That Saints defense was getting to Prescott. They were making things happen. And they were. it, it, it led to some turnovers. It led to opportunities for the Saints. Now, they didn't capitalize on those, those opportunities, but it led to opportunities. Now, you do have to capitalize off of them, but you got to pressure. And the thing that's been most maddening for us Eagles in, in the Eagles Nation has been, has been the Manila defense this team has played. The picket fences on third and fourth and longs. The not enough pressure against the opposing quarterbacks. Now, this defensive line has played better in recent weeks. It has. Uh, and I know they weren't playing. They were playing without Timmy Jernigan last night, and that was was one of the things that led to the big Peterson run. But they're going to have him back, uh, as far as I hear, against Dallas. And he look, he's a big addition uh, because him in there with with um, with of course uh, uh, Fletcher Cox, they wreak havoc right in the middle of that defensive line. Um, and, and, and it's a big addition if you can get Timmy Jernigan back uh, this week against Dallas. It's a short week. I get that. It's a short week. But, look, it was coming off a win, a big win at home against the Redskins, and, and, and now you have an opportunity. And, and that's what you want at this point of the year. Listen, this is what you want at this point of the year is an opportunity, an opportunity to take something, right, an opportunity to get that edge in the division, to, ha- to get another step closer to getting to the dance. Because all you have to do is get in. And I know last season we, we, we got to the Super Bowl. We, we, we uh, uh, won a Super Bowl, and one of the big reasons why is because we had the home field, right? The Eagles, had the, all they had to do was win the two home games. It's going to be different this year. I get that. But you just get in. Get into the dance. You get into the dance, you have a shot. And I know the Rams are out there and the Saints and I, you, whatever. You get in. Because I'd much rather be in and, and have something to look at in, in January than, you know, the alternative. And even though it's a season that's that's quite opposite from a year ago at this point. Look, they win Dallas. They, they beat Dallas on Sunday Sunday evening. I, I don't care what, what happened the rest of the games. We, 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 we won a huge game against Dallas, the hated Cowboys, in their stadium and, and put a little, you know, put, put a little, uh, you know, uh, uh, and to their to their happiness, at least for a week, and shut up their local bandwagon fans, you know, for a week. It, it, the world's a better place <laughs> than the alternative. Um, and there's things they have to clean up. I mean, they left points on the board yesterday against the, uh, the Redskins. When you have an opportunity in the first half of games, and I know, we all would rather touchdowns than field goals. I mean, we play Madden, okay? When you have an opportunity, you're in the red zone there, you're – a lot of times we're not selling for field goals. We're trying to get the touchdowns. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Doug Peterson kind of coaches the way a lot of people play Madden. <laughs> and, and, and it is. There is something to be said about that. This team is a very good two-point conversion team. They're good on fourth-down conversions. I mean, it. you know, they go for it, and, and more times than not, they, are, they do have success. But in a game like this Sunday, particularly the first half of the game, when you have opportunities at points, you got to take them. And I know we all would ra- would rather touchdowns, but if you have a chance at a field goal, you know, earlier, if you, I'm not saying always settle for it, but when time warrants it early in a game, when points are at, at, at were, 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 are, are, are precious to get, you get the points. You take the field goals, you know, you, 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 you fight on. And then, and, and, you know, hopefully then you're, you're able to start finishing off those drives next time you have an opportunity, maybe the next time it's a touchdown. But you take the points. And you get turnovers. You you again. You pressure Prescott. You got to pressure Prescott. Uh, he's not a guy that's going to beat you deep downfield more more times than not. He's a dink and dunk kind of passer. He make he keeps plays alive like Carson does with his feet. They have a very solid running game that if you let get off the off the ground as we saw those weeks ago in Philly, it's going to be tough to stop him. Uh, because a lot of their their offense depends on what the run's doing. When Zeke's having a big game, the offense is having a big game. When Zeke's having a so-so game, the offense is having a so-so game. Because Dak Prescott cannot a one-dimensional Dak Prescott without the run is not a, nearly as effective as with the run. Because why? Well, because the play action fakes work more. The type of plays that that offense their winning plays work when. You allow it to when you allow them to 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 uh, dictate tempo when you allow them to dictate a running game, 
establish a running game and keep it going, it opens everything up for that passing game. And it's not an overly explosive passing game. But when when you have that threat of that run, it's going to open it up. So this defense has got to be sound against the run. Uh, they have to find a way. I know in recent weeks it hasn't been very pretty. <laughs> But they have to find a way. Again, I think Timmy Jernigan playing, I think that's going to be big. Um, again, defensive line, it, it all starts up front, as we know. It's very simplistic, but that's where the game's won, up front. And you got you got to be able to stop the running game. You have to be disciplined in your lanes. Um, you know, when you have an opportunity to tackle that, that son of a gun, you, you better do it. <laughs> Gang tackle the sucker, Okay. <laughs> Um, don't let him hurdle you either. I mean, that was pretty embarrassing. It, it, you know, seeing that those weeks ago, and he kind of fell. It was actually kind of funny that he just fell. You know, after that, he hurdled the guy. He had to open open run to the end zone. He kind of just let the turf monster get him. He fell over. That was the only good thing about that play for me, anyhow. Um, but no, it, it, when there was opportunities to stop them, you got to stop them. You got to get off the field in the third and long. If they go four and a fourth down, you got to stop them. You know, don't let them prolong drives. And you got to be disciplined, too. I don't want to see a lot of the flags, a lot of the laundry on the field on our, on our defense. Discipline. It's a division game. It's a big game. It's going to be chippy, right? It's going to be chippy. There's going to be a lot of talking going on back and forth. Don't let that moment get too big. And, again, this team won the Super Bowl last year, so I don't know if moments can get much bigger than that. <laughs> All they have to do is remember back in Minnesota last February, Okay. The Super Bowl, this is not. Even though Dallas likes to talk about games like regular season games as if it's a Super Bowl, like they did against the Saints. The Super Bowl, this is not. But this is a big rival game in the NFC East. This could decide the division. This could very well decide the division. And if the Eagles can get this win, it would be a huge win. It would be a huge win, a humongous, ginormous win. Um, and then, look, and then there's a big one again the following week against the Rams. What I like about the rest of this schedule and I really don't want to go too far into the rest of the schedule because we're in the now, and it's a week-to-week -week deal, as we know. But what I like about how the rest of the schedule sets up, it is, it, look, the Eagles have a tougher road to hold. Let, let's not, let's not <laughs> sugarcoat it. They do. When you look at who we're playing opposed to who Dallas is playing, Dallas does, on paper, have a much easier schedule. Paper doesn't always mean anything, okay? Uh but they do. The Eagles do have a tougher road. But this is what I like about this schedule. All granted, if they can beat Dallas, and, and, and I feel they can, okay? I feel they, they, they can win this game on, on, on Sunday. If, if they beat Dallas, going ahead, past the Dallas game now, this is what I like about the schedule. And I would much, I, I'd much rather it the way it is now than the way it could have been because I don't mind playing in L.A., why? Because that could very well be a home game for the Eagles. Because <laughs> the Eagle fans, particularly if they beat it, 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 it they take care of this. They, they beat Dallas this week. Oh, it's going to be a home game for the Eagles in L.A. Okay? <laughs> the Eagle fans will be at that game. <laughs> uh, L.A. has had some problems. I don't know if you've noticed, but they got their team, they, they got NFL back in L.A., yet they, they really haven't. Uh, done a great job at selling out, you know, the, the stadium stairs and the other fan bases that have done it. Um, and and I, I don't see any reason why if, if the Eagles can beat a, win against Dallas and get, give us a huge win, there won't be droves of Eagles fans there in that, in that Coliseum. And I know the Rams are, are a great team. I get that. But as far as home field advantage, eh, not really. <laughs> Not in that game if the Eagles are still, you know, alive for a division title. It will be an Eagles home game. And then you talk about, well, what it could have been, right? You're playing the Texans the following week, and the Texans are having a great year too. Deshaun Watson and company, they're, they're playing tremendous right now. But the game's here. And that's an indoor team having to come out to the elements and that's a high high powered offense, and sometimes those high powered offenses you put them out in the elements. If it's a real cold day, as it, I mean, it's Philly. It could be. There could even be snow, rain. Who knows what at that point? It could affect their offense. 
And I would rather it be that type of situation than the alternative than the Eagles having to go to Houston where, look, they're playing in their home field. It's the fast turf. You know, their offense is still going to, you know. I mean, we, we, we have seen going up against the team in a dome that they're, or in an enclosed stadium. In, in that case, it was a dome. Uh, a high-powered offense playing at home, you know, rather than having to come into the elements some weeks ago when we played the Saints. Yeah. So, yeah, I think we're, we're – we're, Fortunate in, in, in the aspect that if the – again, it, 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 all, all, all told the Eagles have to win this game, but they do win this game in Dallas the following week in L.A. A lot of Eagle fans are going to be there. And then you talk about the next week, it's going to be, yeah, another tough opponent in Texas, but they got to play us here. In the Texans, but they got to play us here. And in the elements, you know, an indoor team playing outside in December, in late December. So we'll see. You know, and I'm not saying it's not been guaranteed, but I'm just saying I would rather that than the alternative, than the Eagles playing home against the Rams and then going to Houston. You know, so I think it works out okay. Yeah, they're tough opponents, but I think it works out okay. Uh, the also the fact of the matter also is the Rams have their division title wrapped up. They're yeah, they're still playing for home field throughout, but it's not like you know. They're fighting for divisions. Uh, they're fighting to make the playoffs, right? They're already in. The, the, the Texans at that point are probably going to have things wrapped up. And I don't think, it, you know, they're, they're, they're probably pretty much set where they're going to be in the playoffs. So it's not like, you know, they're in desperation mode. The Eagles are going to be the desperate team. And sometimes a desperate team is the, is the more dangerous team, you know. So, hey, hey, look, <laughs> I could be grasping at straws, okay, but I'm trying to put a positive twist, a positive spin on what the rest of this season, as daunting as it looks. And let, make no mistake, when we saw this schedule, this was the part of the schedule that we all kind of circled and said, oh, boy, that, that could be interesting. Yeah, it's tough. Um, but I, I, I still I like the fact of where these games are and, and the type of situation that we could be in. Now, all granted, they have to win this game on Sunday. If they don't win this game on Sunday – yeah, uh, you know, all bets are, are are off at that point. But if they can win this game on Sunday against Dallas, again, I look at the the situation. You, you just have to look at it time and place and situation. And again, you know, it's not the end of the world. The Eagles are playing these teams because, like I said, Rams is not a great home field advantage. The Texans have to come here, you know, outside, you know, and play. And we'll see, we'll see. So look, the Eagles have it in front of them. Okay, they have it in front of them. They position themselves by winning these last two games where this game matters. And, and, and if they can win this game the next week, and we, we, we take it week by week. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say these things to look ahead. But I'm saying as far as, you know, you, you talk about all these people even in the broadcast. And, oh, God. Oh. Oh, that Monday night broadcast. Oh. Oh, God. But you know, oh, how daunting the schedule is. But when you really try, when you really break it down, it could go in the Eagles' favor a little bit. You know, it could. And I just gave you some reasons why. Again, it, it might not matter at all. But I'm saying it today on December 4th <laughs> of what it could be. Um, so, I, look, this is, again, a ginormous game. Um, it's it's one of the few times in recent years that both teams have had a chance at the division title this late in the season, and it is an old time rivalry. Uh, obviously, around here we hate Dallas, uh, probably more so than Dallas fans. You know, in, in in Texas hate us. You know, their big rivalry is the Redskins. You know, it is the way it is. Even though the Eagles have been a better team <laughs> over the teams since the nineties than the Redskins have been, but. It, you know, it's 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 their I guess their big thing, but in the, in 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 these parts in the Philly area, we we know the rival. It's Dallas. It's always been. Some Eagle fans might still say the Giants, and that's understandable. Geographically speaking, uh, the Giants have also been around longer than Dallas has. So, yeah, I understand that. I get that. Giants have done more since the '90s than Dallas has. I, I understand that. I I you know I do. Um, you know, I get geared up for the Giant games, too, for the Redskins games, you know, all the division games. But Dallas, for me, is the one. And part of the reason is they're bandwagon local fans. They only show up for wins. You know, I mean, me, I'm on Facebook win or loss. 
uh, Facebook. I'm, I'm there too. But I'm on YouTube m- making this series win or I'm everywhere, win or loss, okay? <laughs> I don't disappear after losses. You will see me here on YouTube. There, I said it right that time. It's a little late. You must excuse me. Uh, on YouTube, you will see me after every game, okay? Win or lose. I've started this series those years ago. This is now the fifth year doing it. Um, and look, I, since I've started this series, the Eagles have only made the playoffs once. And they made a count. Not, maybe you haven't heard, but... Uh, <laughs> They, they made that one playoff year count, <laughs> but uh, you see me, you know, you, I, I, I'm here and I'm not an expert, you know, I don't profess to be, uh, I'm not here to boast or anything like that after wins, I mean, you know, I, I'm not looking to, uh, you know, to gloat or anything like that after wins, and, but I'm here to try to break it down as best I can. You know, and, and whether it's after a win like it is now after we beat uh, Washington last night uh, or the Giants two weeks ago or after it's against t- after tough losses like the Saints, you know, f- uh, the week before the Giants game or how many games have been after a loss this year, right? Tough losses, two real tough losses. The Carolina game blowing a 17-point fourth quarter lead. The, the Titans game where you can't stop them on fourth and 15 in overtime when we had a lead would have won that game. As difficult as you can find, but I'm always here. I'm always on this channel, you know, trying to break these games down, trying to tell you, well, this is why they lost or this is why they won, and this is what they have to do moving forward. Um, look, we all know what they have ahead of them. It's a tough road. It is. You got to beat Dallas. You got to find a way, and then you got to find a way to it, look. Worst comes to worst, split against the Rams and Texans, and then you got to win at Washington. Possibly, Buck Fumble will be starting that game again. So hopefully. You know, hey, look, I mean, if it comes down to that week, uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully we can take care of it. But whatever the situation is, whatever the story is, whatever the 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 outcome of the game, you're always going to see me the following, you know, either that day, the following day, whenever I can make this vid. Um, and, 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 you know, as it is too often with the local Dallas fans, you only see them when it's convenient, when, when, when it's, when it's convenient for them to be a fan, you know, after wins, you know, they all get, they all get, you know, uh, uh, you know, chesty and everything after wins and, and, and vo- very vocal, you know, incredibly vocal after wins, but after losses, they all become mimes, you know, that, I mean, it, it, it it's got to go both ways. And I know, I, I don't know, I, I probably said this, but I know people who, who are loyal fan, Dallas fans, I give them a lot of credit. You know, they're always there. They're repping their team. They got the gear, win or lose. I give them respect and credit for that. Because, look, I am not going to tell anybody that you can't be a fan of a team regardless of where you live. Because, look, I, I know there's plenty of loyal Eagle fans that don't live in this area. Great video makers here on YouTube, and they live all over the place, all over the country, all over the world. And they're as loyal and Eagle fans you're going to find. And they don't live here, but they're very loyal. This is their team. And they, and they rep their team win or lose. And, 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 you know, they're fans of all teams across because it's a free – you, you can be a fan of whoever you want to be, you know. I mean, whether you have civic fr- pride and just want to be the fan of the, of the local teams, or you, 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 for some reason in your youth you became a fan of this other team, and, hey, that's your right. You, you have a right to do that. But – the, the ones I never give credit for, and there's way too too much of them, are, are at least in the local. And I can only speak for the local ones because they're the ones we hear all the time in this area. But those local Dallas fans, they're only around when they win. And when they lose, they, they all become, you know, church mice. You know, they're, they're just quiet. They go running in the holes, you know. <laughs> they, they're not to be found. I mean, if the Eagles win this game on Sunday as vocal as they have been the past four weeks, we won't hear from them. It will be the exact opposite. And I would love it. I absolutely. <laughs> That's what I, I definitely would, would prefer than, than the, the alternative. But uh, listen, um, good win last night. Good win. And I know the Redskins with the injuries. Look, the Eagles have injuries too. Okay. Uh, good win. It, it keeps them alive. It keep you know you, you, you keep that you keep that hope alive. 
Uh, and, and again, a ginormous game this, this week against Dallas. Uh, we know what happened weeks ago. And, 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 and part of the reason why it happened weeks ago is because the defense didn't get near enough pressure on, on, on Dak. Uh, when there was an opportunity at a turnover, they didn't get it. Um, and they weren't able to stop Zeke. And we, we saw what happened. And their defense made plays. Carson had a horrible interception. Uh, 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 Van Der Esch. Uh, the Eagles uh, on, on, on fourth down didn't try to get the ball beyond the sticks, you know, late in the fourth quarter. And, and look, I mean, plays like that and all the other plays in between is what lost them that game. But the things that lost them that game, they got to reverse this week. They got to, the plays that weren't able to be made against Dallas those weeks ago, they got to make this week. And they're capable of doing it. You know, I say this because I know they're capable of winning this game. Can they lose it? Sure. Dallas is on a roll. You know, the mojo has been going well for them. But this is also the type of game that I can I can see the Eagles win. Because I, I, I've seen them win in that stadium more times than not. I know they're capable of doing it, and I know they have the talent on this team to do it. Yeah, I know there's a lot of injuries, but I know there's talent on this team, particularly with the quarterback position, that can get it done. And I like the fact that they've run the ball, and they've established a running game. This offensive line is a good run-blocking offensive line. We saw them make plays. I mean, you know, Kelsey's making big plays yesterday to set up one of those touchdowns. I mean, this is this is still a very good run blocking line. They want to run block, you know, and they have some running backs. They're not household names at this point, you know. I mean, people know Darren Sproles, but you know, I mean, uh, Josh Adams and and Corey Clement. Yeah, I mean, they're not exactly the household names, but they're still getting it done the last few weeks, and they have shown a commitment to run the ball. The things that that I was, you know, complaining about, you know, those weeks ago. There's no balance on this offense, you know, even though it's a passing league. I get it. But you need that balance because the run does set things up for the pass. Dallas does it. <laughs> you know, the Rams do it. Like all these other teams. Well, yeah, you got to be able to run the ball and you got to have that threat because if you don't have a threat of running the ball, you're, you're one-dimensional. It makes you too easy to defend. And there's a lot of weapons on this on this offense. Look, I mean, Again, I think it was big for them yesterday to finally figure out how to use Golden Tate because going forward, that's a big weapon. And they were trying to force feed him and do all this other stupid stuff the last few weeks. Well, they finally figured out who he was and how you, you utilize him, and that's big because he's, he could be a difference maker in this game, you know, on Sunday and a difference maker going forward. Uh, Zach Ertz, uh, before I end this video, congratulations. Uh, uh, Eagles single season uh, record holder in receptions, passed uh, uh, Brian Westbrook uh, uh, yesterday for the for the single season record, and he's 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 not too far behind Jason Witten for the the uh, the the all time for tight ends in a, in a single season. Uh, hey, when you can take a record away from Dallas, that's always a good thing. So let's go, Zach. <laughs> he's had a great year, and 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 look, I mean. Since Carson's come into this league, he, he's found number 86. It's obviously his favorite target. We've seen over the years some great, you know, quarterback, the tight end combos uh, in, their, in their careers. And it, it's nice to have that here. Yes, there are other players <laughs> on the offense. But, uh, you know, again, it, it, it's weapons. It's, it's options. And when you're able to run the ball and establish a running game, it opens things up that much more in the passing game, and that's something the Eagles have done, you know, since the, the second half of that Giants game. And, you know, yeah, they missed some plays yesterday, but for the most part, their offense looked looked pretty good. And and, and this is what they're going to need going forward because, look, they, they still have the injuries on, on defense. It, it's not a perfect defense. It's not nearly what they were a year ago. So you're going to have to score some more points. And this offense has got to kind of carry the way. You know, time of possession, they got to win that. they they got to be dominant like they were a year ago uh, and, and, and aid the defense. You know, keep, you know, uh, keep those other offenses off the, off the field. Um, so, yeah, I mean, and when they're, again, like I said, pressure Prescott on defense. Pressure Prescott. That's the theme for this week, pressure Prescott. You do that, he makes mistakes. All right, Eagles Nation, I've gone on way too long, as I always do, but um, I guess I just have a lot to say. Um, again, I'm, I'm happy that we are where we are right now as far as having a chance. 
Uh, yeah, it's not the record that I was envisioning at this point in the season when the season began. But you know what? It's the card we're dealt. We're 6-6, six and six, but we still have a shot. And again, you get into the dance. You find a way to get into the dance and anything can happen. Stranger things have happened. You know, not, not that it's guaranteed or whatever, but I, I would much rather be in the dance with a shot than be on the outside looking in. You know, particularly coming off a of Super Bowl year. You know, so look, huge game this weekend. It's like a playoff game, playoff atmosphere. Uh, division possibly on the line this week, even though there's three more weeks to go after this week. Um and there are big games coming up, but hey, it's a week-to-week thing right now. Two big wins to set us up here. We're right there. You know, and I, it hasn't gone perfect, but we're right there. And this team's capable of winning in Dallas. They've done it before. They gotta do it again. This is the biggest game they've played in Dallas in, in, in a number of years. But um I, I still have faith and confidence in this team. I do. I saw what they did a year ago. I, I still have faith and confidence. The coaching has to be better. The play, the, the, you know, uh, things have to be tuned up <laughs> better. But I still have confidence in this team that they can get it done. That they can get into the dance, whether it's a divi- hopefully a division champ because then you get a home game, or even if it's a wild card. I, I still have hope that they can do it. I still do. And as bleak as it looked a few weeks ago after that Saints game, you look at where they are right now. They, they still have a shot. They still have a shot. Hungry dogs run faster, as as the saying was. So let's get it done, guys. Listen, give us a give us an early Christmas gift here, early holiday gift. Beat Dallas, shut their local bandwagon fans up for a week. Okay, we don't want to hear it from them for a week. Let, let let's have a ha, have a week off from these 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 <laughs> those wonderful salts of the earth. Okay. <laughs> Let's get a big win in Big D, and let's move on in this season. Um, All right, everyone, take care. I'll see you guys uh, and and gals out there in the next vid. And uh, let's go, Birds, as always. Huge game this week uh, at at, at Dallas. And, um, yeah, let's get it done. All right, everyone, take care. Go, Birds. Bye.